Hi everyone, welcome you all. In this video, I am going to explain electromagnetic theory and give some introduction to scalars and vectors. First, introduction to electromagnetic theory. What is EM? EM is the electromagnetics. It's a study of electric and magnetic phenomena. Phenomena, it describes the electric charges at rest and in motion. Why EMT is important? The study of the discipline of electromagnetics is important as a huge turbo generator which generate electricity, the power transmission lines, relays, electric motors, TV and radio transmission and reception. Here all the devices that working under electric and magnetic field. Next, electromagnetic design is possible only with a good theoretical understanding of electromagnetic field equation. So electromagnetic field equation is very very important. Now we are going to see vector analysis. What is vector analysis? Vector analysis is tool for electromagnetic field theory. It is greatly facilitates the analysis of electric and magnetic field in vector analysis. Next we are going to see scalars and vectors. In electromagnetics, we deal with two types of quantities. The first one is scalar quantity and second one is vector quantity. The scalar quantity has magnitude and no direction. So example, mass, temperature, work, charge, all are coming under scalar quantity. What is vector quantity? It is characterized by both magnitude and direction. Example, electric field, force, velocity, magnetic field. So these vectors has some magnitude and direction, whether it is this direction or opposite direction. So that is vector. And scalar, it is represented by any variable like a, x, y, z and so on. It is represented by the same x and y but only one different in the top one arrow head is there. Next the scalar quantity is generally represented using the alphabets A to EZ. It is represented by using the letters from A to EZ but arrow E is placed on the top that is vector. Next arrow indicates the direction so both scalar and vector quantities are the function of time and position. This is also important. Next we are going to see unit vector. So unit vector is a main in the electromagnetic theory. So in general a vector A. How we can write the vector A that is equal to unit vector into the magnitude of vector A. So magnitude of vector A is otherwise known as scalar. Okay, so what is A? Scalar magnitude of the vector. What is A? A unit vector along the direction A. That is very very important. Unit vector that is along the vector A. Thus the unit vector can be expressed as what is A? A, a sub is A that is equal to A vector divided by magnitude of A. And next we are going to see what about the property of unit vector. So what is unit vector? This unit vector has unit magnitude. That is very very important. And the C, it is same direction as that of A. This is the second property. And third one is it is the dimensional dimensionless quantity. That is also very very important. So to understand how a unit vector is represented. So for better understanding, I have to consider the Cartesian coordinate system. 
in a cartesian coordinate system vector a is represented as c this is the cartesian coordinate system so a coordinate system consists of three axes x y and z all the three axes that consist of unit vector the x axis the unit vector is ax the y axis unit vector is ay and the z axis unit vector is az so three unit vector three unit vectors are there and how we can represent a so a is equal to normally any vector a is can be represented by a single axis means we have to multiply the scalar with unit vector the corresponding unit vector but here we are having three axis so how to represent the a a is the summation of all the components in three axes so the first axis ax into ax unit vector ay into ay next unit vector az into az unit vector so here what is ax ay and az these all are the component of a vector in three directions like x y z respectively next ax ay cap az cap are all the unit vectors so this symbol is known as cap along x y and z coordinate axis next we are going to see how to find out the magnitude of vector a so the magnitude of vector a is written as a vector then one modulus so this is known as magnitude of vector a or simply we can write a only so a is equal to square root of a square plus a y square plus a z square unit vector a a along is what is a a that is a vector divided by magnitude of a so a vector for the cartesian system is known and a magnitude also known now divide both we get the unit vector a a a cap and next vector algebra so already we have seen vector analysis and in here we are going to see the vector algebra so what is normal mathematical algebra in the normal algebra it is simply refers to a set of mathematical rules but what is the vector algebra is defined as the algebra that deals with vector quantities and the various algebraic operations that can be performed on vector that is very very important various algebraic operation and it is deal with the vector quantities only and next operation on vectors some common operation performs on the vector performed on the vector include so what are the operation addition subtraction multiplication and division each kind of operation conforms to certain laws applicable on vectors so this law should be applicable commutative law associative law and distributive law thank you have a nice day